Hey guys, Antman872, here's the promised video on the iPod Touch 2nd generation untethered jailbreak, meaning you could turn off and turn on your iPod Touch. Um, here's my iPod, I'm going to be doing my friend's iPod, I'm not going to jailbreak my iPod quite yet. So what you're going to want to do, make sure you've downloaded my custom Ponage folder that I made. Uh, I'm going to slim it down for you guys because there's like all these different IPSWs that you don't need. Because right now it's uh, 2 gigs, so I'm going to, don't worry, that's going to be slimmed down. It should be about a half a gig when I upload it to Mega Upload. Okay, <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do, open Ponage folder, that my custom Ponage folder. Uh, you're not going to have as much stuff as, it in, as I do. That's because I haven't removed um, these iPod firmwares that you don't need anymore. I forgot to um, take those out of there. Okay, so open up the custom README. And I did make this myself, so it might be a little iffy. But um, that's what you're going to want to do. Plug in your iPod Touch. iTunes is probably going to pop up if you have it set to. This is a uh, tethered jailbroken iPod Touch. Okay, so um, it's, uh, it's already been jailbroken with the tethered version. What you're going to want to do is open Finder. This is uh, right here in my README. It says, unless you watched my video. That's to uh, help it iTunes from not popping up. So you're going to open Finder, go to Applications folder, scroll down until you get to your Utilities. Okay, so there's Utilities right there. And you're going to want to open Activity Monitor. This is just going to help you out along the way so that iTunes doesn't pop up. Now what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you see iTunes Helper. Okay, so there you go, iTunes Helper, right there. Okay, now you're going to want to quit the process, and just don't force quit it, just quit it, and wait for it to go. So there you go, it's gone, it's out of here. So what this does is, it doesn't, whenever an iPod is in recovery mode, iTunes won't pop up. Very, very handy. <coughs> so you're going to want to open Terminal, if you don't know where that is, that's in the Utilities folder, in your Applications folder. Now what you're going to want to do is copy this first command I have. It's the CD, the, it, this changes the directory. Okay, so now your directory is set to your Ponage folder. Make sure you haven't renamed it and it's on your desktop, okay? Um, so if it's in your downloads, put it in your desktop. Now what you're going to want to do, copy the second command. If you read my readme, it's dot slash rsi that connects to your iPod. But before you do that, put it in DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you right now. You're going to hold the home and power button for 10 seconds, release the power, and keep holding the home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, you're in DFU mode iTunes would have probably popped up if you didn't do that last part. Sorry about that. I just got a text message. Okay. Um, so if if you didn't do that last part with Activity Monitor, that is not a part that you have to do. But iTunes, your iTunes would have probably popped up. So make sure you close it. Now type in dot slash rs slight. <coughs> unless you already copied and pasted. And uh, you should see a DFU mode right here. If it says recovery, you probably didn't have your, your iPod plugged in when you did that. <coughs> okay. So now I, while you do that, as you see, wait till your iPod is connected and then type this. So copy the next command. should be the third command. Paste it. And your iPod should be white. Okay. If you didn't, iTunes might pop up unless you um, did the activity monitor thing where you close iTunes helper. Um, if iTunes did pop up, press OK and then just close the window. Don't completely close the program. Now what you're going to want to do, so your iPod should have the white screen. If it doesn't, just restart. All you have to do, put it back into DFU mode, type in dot slash artist light. So copy the dot slash artist light, paste it in, and there you go. Once it says recovery, it's going to switch to recovery mode. It should say build tag and all that stuff. You're gonna want to get this um, this pwn two one one ibss dot text. You should have a, a pound sign in front of it. You're gonna press this. This just this is the red snow patch. 
this is how they jailbreak the iPod Touch. Then you're going to want to send this um, the Pwn boot. So what you're going to do, type that. And your iPod should blink. If it doesn't blink, all I, what I said, just restart this process. Put it back into DF, unplug it, and then plug it back in. Put it back into DFU mode. And uh, just start from the first start, dot slash RS light, and so on. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then once you have that last command, go ahead and quit terminal, quit text edit, and open iTunes this time. Make sure you don't unplug your iPod. Okay, now iTunes. There you go, see? Click OK. Now you're going to want to hold the Alt slash Option key and click Restore. Okay, now you're going to want to go into your Pwnage folder. I already have my Pwnage folder set. So, um, you're going to want to get the untethered IPSW.IPSW. Get that one. That's the jailbroken IPSW that I made with Pwnage tool all by myself. I'm so proud of myself. Click Open. Extracting the software. Um, and your iPod's gonna boot. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna boot. Um, I'm gonna make a second video. It'll be in the description. It might not be in the description right away. It's probably because I'm uploading it right after this. Um, but your iPod's gonna restore. If you get any errors, you shouldn't because I patched it myself. I didn't. I didn't copy this from anybody. My uh, my first video, my tethered. I copied that from Ty's iPhone help. I just downloaded his thing and I uploaded it back to you guys. But this I completely made by myself, this folder. So uh, I patched it myself and everything. So you guys shouldn't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, but then again, I said I would put the video in the description for the booting of the iPod Touch. Okay? If it's, if it's not in the... Um, sorry. <laughs> if it's not in the video description right now, it's going to be uploaded in just a few minutes. Okay? So if it's not in there right now, it will be in there very soon. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. I have a PSP, giving, PSP giveaway going on for 100 subscribers. Make sure to subscribe. And just so you know, your computer is going to fill up a lot faster than your iPod Touch. Thank you guys. Sorry about that. Um, make sure to subscribe. Hey guys, there you go. The iPod just booted right as the video started. Okay, there you go. So it's unlocked. Slide to unlock. The little edit home screen. And there you go. There's Cydia right there. Isn't that amazing? So I'm just going to open up Cydia. I don't have internet connection right now. So it asks you if you're a developer, if you're a hacker, or you're a user. I'm just going to click developer because there's no filters. Okay. So there you go. Cydia is real. It is completely real. And now, guess what, you guys? You can change your boot logo. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll have a video up there shortly on the Logo Me video. Um, so I, that's kind of what I really wanted. I downloaded a whole bunch of different ones. Um, I do recommend to set up as a new iPod. Highly recommend it. But then again, you guys are me.